Hey guys, Ben Hart here, and we're going to talk about how to play Southern Gospel style piano today. So we're going to talk about some of the fundamentals on what you need to be working on because there are so many styles in the genre of music. So this is an overview, not an end all of how to um, play Southern Gospel music, but it's an overview of some fundamentals that you need to be working on to start playing it in that style. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about convention style of playing. Number one thing for this, you got to put your left hand into shape because you got to be able to do this octave chord thing. So there's a few different variations of this. One you can do, like if we were playing in C, you got to be able to go C octave and then C chord or C chord like this and then alternate to the G. So it's what you are trying to do is create this, but with one hand. So that way. All right, and you need to practice over each chord and different keys, and it's a long process. You can, if it gets really fast, um, do a single note version of that, a low note like C, and then the third of the chord, which is E in C, and the fifth of it or the one of it. You can go and then alternate, and that'll work, you know. Okay, so left hand's got to get whipped into shape to be able to play that convention stuff, and then you learn your octave. Um... And we do some arpeggios. We'll talk about that later in, uh, you know, when we do some classical music, and it'll all just start relating to each other. Um, next style that I would say is, is the most native to uh, Southern Gospel music is the leave the keys on the floor uh, playing fast solos and playing all the hot licks. So you have to be able to create the left hand rhythm on that too, the right feel. So the left hand, you got to commit to something thinner because it's so faster. You got to. So a C would be a C and E back and forth or C, E, G. You got to be able to do that. So you can. Or this. And as far as the hot licks goes, pentatonic scales. Got to practice your pentatonic scales in the key of C. You know, it's C, D, E, uh, A, or sorry, G and A. And we like to add this in it. Or down. And then you make up patterns around it. That's where those come from. Um, minor pentatonic blues scale also is a popular one. Got a little more bluesier sound, but got to be able to play with this rhythm. Kind of messed up there, but you get the idea. Also, the one's going up. And that's not quite pentatonic, but it's definitely a pattern and it's close to the pentatonic. It's got a passing note in there. So major and minor pentatonic, learn your scales, major scales, all those, make patterns and hot licks out of them, run eighth notes over and over and over. It's just the same thing over and over, start over again, tie it together. Okay. All right, so that is that. Commit to this lighter rhythm. Practice that. That way single notes pop out. And you can also do octave melodies like, oh, we like to arpeggiate the chord too. Octave G, a C in there. Or full C. F. And play in between chords and stuff. So arpeggiating four finger chords, maybe sliding that uh, minor note to major third um okay so that is the leaving on the keys things play octave melodies with the light rhythm so that way your single note hot licks can come out um next style let me see let's go country gospel on this one this one is knowing down here you're going to play some melody notes that you create and there's some you know i think we're playing over pentatonic scale there too yeah, a little bit there's some passing notes Okay, and then we'd have these chordal things over the sixth chord. So when we went to F, we went, we added the D and we went, you know, in here we start adding harmony, kind of this low end thing. And down here is too low, so it's single notes. 
And then when we get to like a G, we play with the third and the five of the chord. And then F again. All right, so we're kind of bending those notes, knowing some Floyd Kramer things, some Pig Robbins things. So, you know, you got to know those fundamentals, those harmonies down here and be practicing that and knowing when it gets too muddy and play there. And then also there is the, the country, like the Floyd Kramer, the higher one. Um, okay, so that's uh, that's country gospel right there. Um, the traditional gospel, like um, bluesier, almost Ray Charles, like. <laughs> Um, okay, so that's for a, a whole different thing. But um, that, you know, for sure, knowing the chord progressions, adding chordal walks and adding sevens to it. We, I have so many songs on the website that were doing that, and we just add the flat seven to it or the dominant, um, and then we do walks, you know, from like C. Minor. Here's another C with an E down there. So we're headed to F, and then we'll add dominant notes to it in different voicings. So, all right, and it gives it more of a bluesier sound, you know, by adding those notes in there, sliding the third. Um, also, knowing the chord progression, be like C over E, F to G when we're going to. So knowing the right chord progressions and knowing the notes to add to the chords to add that. And then once again, uh, pentatonic scales for single note licks and even some harmony licks and stuff. It gives it that bluesy tone right there. Um, lastly, um, there's more styles here, but I feel like the other one you got to know is some pretty chords and classical, I guess, aspects um, for big ballads. So like pretty chords would be to like add the major seven to a chord. So in G, here's the major seven. I know it seems weird to some of you, F sharp. Or adding the two, kind of a worship sound. Or like, like I did this on a... You know, um, knowing your diminished chords, all these weird chords in between. Um, I do that on uh, Butylan and oh, several different songs. I mean, those, I love that more than just about anything. And then by the end, getting it real big and doing octave leads and doing your arpeggios. <laughs> That's just simply, you got to practice these four finger chords and be able to run them up and down. And then knowing the chord progressions. Now listen, that's an overview. How you get good at these is you learn several of the songs, a repetition of the right material and the desire to want to do it. All these things are going into play on your piano playing and any instrument or anything that you want to do probably in life. But making sure you're practicing the right thing. So if you want to learn... Um, country gospel you should go far on that and learn two and three songs don't just learn one because when you do it and you repeat it then it's it starts being you start seeing oh that's okay i'm getting it it's going to start applying to your music so any of these styles that you want to do get it learn several songs in the style so i mean like if it's the bluesier stuff you know pick like what a day that'll be if it is like um the 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 fast solo stuff pick some of the solos and you're gonna start seeing oh, okay the rhythms are the same and he's he's making it over the over these scales um you know uh the chordal runs of of the gospel stuff <laughs> Those progressions, you're going to see the same thing over and over and over, and it's going to be, then you're going to hear those parts in different songs that I didn't even teach, and you're going to say, oh, this is that spot, and you're going to start hearing it. And so it's real important to, to repeat 
over and over and over until you go, oh, I see. It's kind of like a math problem. Uh, when you're in school, it's like the teacher will show you this problem and they'll walk you through it and they'll say, you understand? And you say, no. <laughs> and then they say, okay, here's another problem. So like this one, but it's different. Okay. Do you, do you get it? Mm, not really. And then the third one and then the fourth one, then all of a sudden, maybe it's number five or six or 10 and you go, oh, I get it. Now I see. We as humans, I guess, just have to repeat something until it just hits us and the light bulb comes on. So pick the style and go long and practice it and work on it. And know that it's muscle memory. So you've got to learn it. So you got to do the muscle memory and learn the notes. And then once you have that movement, you're going to see repetitive things. So if you um, are a paid member, go and just pick out the songs and if you're not and you're part of um, the free email list or if you're on YouTube or wherever you're viewing this on social media or anything, you know, find the things that you're wanting to learn and do several of them and repeat it so that way it gets inside of you. So this is an overview on how to play Southern Gospel music. It's hard to do in one lesson. That's the reason why I created the uh, website, naturalmusicstore.com. And we got a neat community over there, and a lot of people learn a lot of things. And all of this style is sitting over there in a song or in a chorus. And if you don't know any, if you maybe you're like, I still got, I got to learn two chord. Well, then, you know, we have the three program, and you say, I've never touched a piano. Well, we have beginner lessons um, that'll take you and get you past those fundamentals, and then you can move on to what you want to do. There's some things we all have to learn, but when it comes to picking out a style, there's, there's different things for different styles, so we're trying to touch all of it over there. So that was an overview on how to play Southern Gospel style of piano. We will see you at another lesson. Hello everyone, Ben from Natural Music. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like more of these free lessons, there's a couple different ways you can do it. One, you can subscribe on our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that way you'll be notified every time um, we put up another free lesson. Also, you can sign up for our free uh, email list and we will send these straight to your inbox and you'll have access instantly after you sign up um, to our free lessons page. And I think there's over 100 lessons on there as of today. And so um, enjoy that. Don't need your credit card number, nothing. Just sign up for completely for free. And for those of you that want to take it a little bit more serious, you can head over to naturalmusicstore.com and have access to everything that we have. There's all different types of courses for different skill levels that will teach you how to play gospel music, um, southern gospel music um, for your church or for your group, or if you're just wanting to better your playing and do it for your own enjoyment. Um, there's lessons there. Um, from other artists. Um, you know, some of my favorite artists have put out a few different lessons with this, and I think more of that is going to be coming, so we're excited about that. But if you would like to become a paid member, there are hundreds and hundreds of free lessons, all the way from solos, a lot of accompaniment. There's random lessons on there where we just talk about licks and tricks and rhythmic things and just all kinds of stuff in this style. So if you enjoy the Southern Gospel style of playing, and you want to further your playing to the next level, go over there and become a subscriber to the website. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you at your next 